Niggas saying they outside. Niggas saying they outside. Send the Addy, we gon' slot. Air it out when we arrive. Popping that shit, but they don't want the smoke. She like it rough when we fuck, so I'm grabbing that bitch by the throat. Niggas saying they outside. Send the Addy, we gon' slot. Once again, it's your boy, Polly the Bull. Back again, and uh. Still being told to isolate, still being told to self-quarantine, uh, only essential workers to go outside, you know what it is, all due to... Coronavirus! Are y'all tired of Cardi yet? Is that getting annoying yet? Well, here's Cardi with some more commentary on the situation. Hey guys, so I just want to uh, do this video, right? Long ass motherfucking video, and let y'all motherfuckers know something. Sometimes I get on my live and I be talking about crazy shit, you know, entertaining my fans. And people might just take what I say and just run with it and say what the fuck it is. Or not. And I really want to let uh, these celebrity knows. I really why the confusion that um, the general public have, right? And the questionings that the general public have. Because if number 45 is getting on a podium saying, hey, listen, if you do not have any symptoms of the coronavirus, which is coughing, fever and whatsoever, et cetera, et cetera. Do not get tested because we don't have enough uh, testes. Hold on, what she said? Testes. Come again? Testes. One more time? Testes to test everybody. Okay. But if a celebrity is saying, hey, listen, I don't have no symptoms. I'm feeling good. I feel healthy. I don't feel like nothing. But I went and got tested and I'm positive for the coronavirus. That caused confusion. That made people be like, well, wait a minute now. Uh, I don't have no symptoms, but I know I went out this and that day. Shit, I might just have it. Shit, I'm scared because I'm around my kid. I'm around my grandparents. What should I do? And let me tell you something. The, the general public, people that work regular jobs, people that get regular paychecks, the middle class, the, you know, poor, whatever the crap, they not getting, they not getting treated like, 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 like the high, you know, the ones that appear, like celebrities and everything. They're not getting their fucking coronavirus results the next day. That's one. I, the coronavirus is very much real. That's first thing first. And let me tell you something. If you're under 30, right? If you're under 30, because I know somebody that's under 30 has a cold, and they told them if your cold is not for eight days, you, you cannot get tested. So you got to be sick for eight days if you're under 30, so you could be eligible of getting a fucking coronavirus test. Now, if you're like in your 40s, 50s, 60s, and you're having a cold, they're going to test you right away. However... Your test results will come in four days. And let me tell you something. They tell you this. If you are positive for the coronavirus, they will tell you to quarantine in your home or and come back on if your fever goes 100 and some shit degrees. And I do not feel like that's right because it's like if you're positive for the coronavirus, but you don't have a crazy fever, but you have a cold and you're sending people home. I don't know. I, I, where, where do they think they're sending people home to? Not everybody have the luxury to go in a fucking bedroom and to go in a big ass house and just stay away from people. People live in small ass apartments. A lot of people live in small ass apartments with multiple people. So it's like, if you're sending me home and I have the corona fucking virus, I'm most likely going to give it to my, my spouse, my kids, anybody that's around me. And on top of that, a lot, a lot of celebrities, y'all have the luxury to pay $34,000 or whatever the fuck it costs to get tested and get treated. A lot of these people, they don't fucking have that money. Some people don't even, don't even have enough money to fucking have, to, to fucking afford health care. And I feel like all this shit, I feel like for coronavirus treatments, uh, for, for testing, for all that shit. I feel like the government should take that shit. To put, charge that shit to the game and not charge people for it because at the end of the day, this shit could have been prevented when they found out about this shit a couple of months ago and the shit that was doing in China. The fuck? It shouldn't be charging no motherfucking 
uh, Medicaid, health insurance, none of that shit. This is y'all fault that got in this motherfucking country. Y'all could have been avoided this shit. A month ago, everybody was saying that it, it's fine. This shit ain't that serious. Now look. Look at that. And that's my point. Bye. Thank you, Cardi. Uh, her perspective on things, you know what I'm saying? You can believe whatever you believe. Maybe you agree, disagree. Not here for that. So what are y'all doing? Been a couple weeks now. Everybody, well, mostly everybody, been told to stay home. Kids is home. Non-essential workers is home. What are y'all doing? Y'all still, you know, I see everybody on social media. Shout out to y'all. Everybody, you know, posting memes, things like that. Catching up on Netflix, all that good stuff. Workout, folks. What are y'all doing? How y'all keeping in shape? Be careful out there. Shout out to DJ D Nice and a couple other DJs started doing it well, rocking on Instagram Live. That that you know keep keep people's spirits up, playing a little music. Music is always good for the soul. You know what I mean? But big shout out to uh, Lil Boosie and Big Fendi. Y'all know, y'all 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 know, y'all know. Keep keep that up. Now let's go to Jim Jones with the weather. Shit whack. Y'all knew this was coming. Got these niggas waking me up talking about it's a motherfucking storm, a snowstorm. There's a lot of moving parts going on right, right now outside, man. We can't move. It's a pandemic. It's a pandemic. It's a pandemic. The pan, the pan, the pan. Pan, 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 pan. I get broads in Atlanta, just with the lean and shit, sipping fun. Credit cards in the scammers, wake up beside the shit, let the zone, over to the ladder shit. They be at the rent, I know we clubbing shit. I be pulling us up in the final shit. I got plenty of stuff with Bugatti, but look how I try this shit. It's 36 degrees. That means it's back to freezing temperatures and it's snow, snow, snow hailing out this motherfucker. Who's in charge? We can't go nowhere. We can't get to the bag. We stuck in the house and now it's motherfucking snowing. I apologize, baby. You can go get them Uggs. Ugg season ain't over. Pull them out because it's crazy today. Cover up that lace front. Cover, cover up your face, matter of fact. Don't call for nobody. Don't breathe on nobody. Don't move too much. Somebody explain to me what the really fuck is going on inside this motherfucking world. Huh? Shit too much for me, man. I can't take it no more. Can't get fresh. The drip report is over. The niggas ain't going nowhere. All the clubs is closed. Who's in charge out there? I mean, really, what the fuck is going on? They still calling me due to weather when niggas ain't got no place to go. Leave me the fuck alone. Please. 36 degrees, man. Snowing. Shit like that. I holler. Thank you, Jimmy, I, I think. Th thanks for that. But seriously, folks, uh, you know, a lot's going on right now. Uh, people are, are passing away. The numbers are growing steadily. Um, you know, whatever we can do to help, we need, we need help for those that, uh, you know, are less fortunate, uh, those that are, you know, unable to, to deal with you know, the respiratory issues and things that, that the virus brings on. Um, the elderly, you know, folks with asthma, you know, chest chest uh, issues, things like that. I'm, I'm not a doctor, but you know what I'm saying? Right now, uh, Governor Cuomo is, is doing a lot. He's showing great strength during this time. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, can't say 45 or even Blasio. I mean, you know, I'm not trying to get political, but it seems like Cuomo is doing like doing big things and um it's not enough uh shout out you know rihanna and her foundation donated some things uh a couple people have donated new york right now has the highest number so everything that can be done to help is you know big and you know saying got to do what we can and us you know small people on the ground level we're told to just stay home and stay away from people keep six feet it's not too much to ask for go outside go to the park you can you know what I'm saying jog walk around but 
no no big gatherings um keep keep us keep it small keep your distance keep keep washing your, washing yourself your body and not just your hands wash your body uh wash your clothes um but things are shutting down but you know what i'm saying we just got to get through got to get through this time we don't know how long it's gonna last like i said i'm gonna keep continuing to to crank out content i can uh hope y'all enjoyed the homie calls and things last week uh got a couple more uh homie calls coming up this week that you're gonna see uh, and some people hit me up and want to get involved with it let me know. I mean, like I said, hit me up. If y'all want to talk about something, you want to point, uh, express your point of view on a situation with it, I'm open. Let's, let's, let's talk. Whether we agree or disagree, whatever. Let's talk. Let's get it out there. Communication, conversation. That's what's keeping us through this time. That's all we got. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can't, can't go out and see people and meet people. So let's just talk. You know what I mean? So shout out to everybody doing the, the, the group meetings and stuff on, on, on FaceTime and uh, Zoom, Skype. Uh, whether you use Duo, uh, you just call people, somebody hears somebody's voice on the phone, text messages, whatever, man. Reach out to everybody. Check up on check up on everybody. You know, what I mean, just strong friends. You know, your, your older friends, your younger friends. Check up on everybody. See what's going on. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And I promise, the content is gonna still be entertaining. Um, we got enough drama and sad stories out there. I don't want to dwell on that, but I do like to bring that out, the information and stuff that is out on that as well. Um, but I try to keep, you know, keep, keep everything lighthearted here on the 2020 vision. So we're going to continue to do that. And in local news, uh, another sad story, you know, by the way, some crazy dude set a fire or blew up a bomb or something crazy on a two train the other night to about three in the morning. And, uh, unfortunately the conductor passed away. Rest in peace to uh, Garrett Goebel, I believe his name was. Um, you know, he was the conductor on the train. Uh, he helped a lot of people get off of the train. Unfortunately, uh, took him to the hospital and he did not survive the, the, uh, the situation. Uh, you know, that man was a hero in himself. Um, sad times already going on and then we got to have a story like that. It's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Um, and they're still looking for the, the gentleman who basically the arsonist, the murderer. They're still looking for him. Hopefully they find him. We got enough going on now. We don't need people blowing up trains and things. You know, it's it's, it's sad. It's sad. To end on a positive note, a lot of music came out. Uh, Childish Gambino, The Weeknd, Young Jeezy, Jordan Lucas, Slim Thug, Jesse Reyes, and a bunch of other ones. So we got some music to listen to. You know what I mean? People could rock out in the house um you know shows to watch on netflix we already kind of went through that what y'all watching what y'all listening to try to try to you know keep your sanity during all this time still reaching out to people still doing these homie calls still talking to my friends and stuff so you know we straight up here but y'all be safe out there y'all keep y'all sanity mental health is also important and i'll see y'all to the next time Everybody want to talk about who's the nicest A bunch of grown men in a midlife crisis uh, I don't really see what all the hype is You got some G money riding around in a priceless Guess they still sleeping, bad case of the itis Be sick, free, and boy, fuck around with them tigers Listen, I don't think it's no real niggas left uh -huh. I'm feeling like it's no real niggas left Nah, or maybe all the real niggas just left Or, or maybe I'm the last real nigga left